lies between A and B, it doesn't talk about D, can't be sufficient. This doesn't talk about B, so this cannot be sufficient. Combining, we know B is greater than A. It's best to assume values. We're talking about between, so let's take values which are easy to divide. I'm taking a difference of 16 here, 2 and 18. This is A, this is B. C lies exactly in between, so C becomes 10. And D lies between A and C, exactly between A and C. So this is D. Let's find out the value. A minus B is 2 minus 18. C plus D is 6 plus 10. So this is equal to minus 16 upon plus 16, which is minus 1. Let's take out some completely different value and see if we still get the same answer. I'm taking the values as 7 and 19. The difference was 16 here. I've deliberately taken the difference 12. 12 is also a multiple of 4, but it's different from 16. This becomes A now. This becomes B. C would be exactly in between, so this becomes 13. D would be between here, so 10. A minus B would be 7 minus 19. Upon C plus D would be 23. 10 plus 13, 23. This is a completely different value, minus 12 upon 23. So even combining doesn't lead to a unique answer. The answer is option E.